The human body is made up of an estimated 30 trillion cells, but it's also home to around 39 trillion bacteria. Together with fungi and viruses, they form a vast community called the microbiome. The largest and most diverse population of bacteria are found in the gut, with thousands of different types inside our intestines. These microbes may be tiny, but they play a huge role in our health. They help train the immune system, so it knows what to eliminate or ignore. They also help us digest food. But scientists now think gut bacteria play a role in how some cancers start, and maybe even how these cancers respond to treatment. Inflammation happens when the cells in our bodies become damaged or infected, and molecules released during long periods of gut inflammation can push normal cells towards becoming cancerous. Certain types of gut bacteria may be behind the bouts of inflammation responsible for starting some bowel cancers. And research has shown that the microbiome in bowel cancer patients can look different to the microbiome in people who are healthy. The latest immune-boosting cancer treatments have shown great promise, but they don't work for everyone. And scientists think the microbiome's link to the immune system could, in some cases, explain why. Research has shown that certain good bacteria are more common in the guts of some cancer patients who responded to immunotherapy. Scientists now want to see if changing a patient's microbiome might boost the effects of treatment. But exactly how these vibrant communities might influence cancer and the immune system remains a mystery. Right now, Cancer Research UK funded scientists are among those trying to find out more. And if they do, tinkering with the microbiome could become a new way to prevent and treat cancer. <laughs>